So today's video is gonna be really hard for me to make because I am a self-professed shoe lover. I don't like to discriminate against shoes. I love all kinds of shoes. And I've admitted on this channel before that shoes and handbags are my weak spot. I don't know, I honestly think that it runs in my blood because my daughter is also a shoe lover. All right, what are you doing? Gold. Gold? What? Gold what? Gold what? Shoes. Can you put them back, my love? I honestly could not make it up even if I wanted to. Long story short, I love shoes, but there are certain styles of shoes that I think are overdone. They're currently out of style. And I think if you put these certain styles of shoes to rest, you can make your outfits look so much more stylish. Before I hop into today's video, I quickly wanted to thank Ana Luisa for sponsoring this portion of the video. You guys know I've been loving and wearing Ana Luisa jewelry for several years already. I literally wear their pieces every single day. The current stack that I have on my ear is all Ana Luisa and I get asked about these earrings all the time. I love that they're super minimal yet not too minimal that they kind of get lost and they don't make a statement. All of their jewelry is handcrafted and made from premium recycled materials. So they're super eco-friendly and sustainable. Most of their pieces are 14 karat plated gold, such as the earrings that I'm wearing today. And this beautiful necklace that I just recently got from Ana Luisa as well that can be adjusted to different lengths. I love this chain link necklace. You can wear it on its own or layer it with other pieces in your collection you can wear it low or high on your neck. And this is probably my favorite piece that I got from Ana Luisa recently. This is a gorgeous gold ring with a natural malachite stone in the center. I love malachite. This green just instantly lifts up my mood and malachite actually has a lot of beneficial properties that it's said to bring to the wearer, such as power, success, and prosperity. But the main thing that attracts me to this is the design of the ring and also the color. The stone is just so, so beautiful. You'll see in the close-up bureau that I took here of how gorgeous it looks. And I feel like this particular color green is a neutral that you can wear with so many different colors and pieces in your wardrobe. As you can see, I have like bright orangey reddish nails and this malachite stone looks so, so beautiful with my nail polish. So if you guys were interested in checking out Ana Luisa and taking advantage of my discount code, I'm gonna leave all of the information on the screen here as well as in my description box down below. All right, so let's get started with today's video. I wanted to start with the first style of shoe that I think is out of style. To be honest, this is probably gonna be one of the most controversial shoes styles that I'm going to talk about in this video, but it just has to be said. And it honestly pains me because I have several pairs of the shoes currently in my wardrobe. And that is Christian Louboutin shoes or red bottoms, more specifically the pointy toe pump style. I know, I know, I know I've discussed these shoes so many times in my past videos saying how much I love them and they're staples in my wardrobe and I wear them with anything and everything. I have them in the nude, I have them in the black, I have them in all kinds of different variations and I still love these shoes, but I think that the Christian Louboutin pump most specifically has been overdone and I feel like so many people have this style of shoe now that it has kind of become obsolete and boring if you will and I find myself no longer gravitating towards these shoes as much as I used to. Instead what I have been gravitating towards more are just strappy high heeled sandals. I feel like these look so much more stylish and so much more unique and there are so many different beautiful variations out there from different designers such as Abina Muwadi by far that I love so so much and they have a more effortless laid-back kind of vibe to them. I feel like the Christian Louboutin pump is a little too polished and a little too safe 
for me at this point and I just want something that's more different and unique looking. Another shoe that I think that is out of style and I have no qualms about saying this, I'm not gonna miss this style whatsoever, is the overly sized like XL XL chunky dad sneakers. And I'm not talking about like the slightly oversized like chunky dad sneakers. I still love those admittedly. I still have a couple of pairs of those and I love them so much. So I'm not gonna throw them under the bus. I'm talking about like the Balenciaga triple S super chunky sneakers that make you look like you have feet that are twice or three times as big as they're supposed to be. I just think that they've been overdone. I think we should leave them in 2000 2018 or 17 or whenever these sneakers launched, I think that it's time for a refresh in the sneaker department. I still like the slightly chunky oversized look, but not to the extreme to that point. So if you are looking for a really cool sneaker that's gonna be more timeless and classic, definitely go for one that is more streamlined and less chunky. Another style of shoe that I think is out of style at the moment are wedges, wedge shoes, whether they are wedge espadrilles or wedge mules or wedge sandals. I just feel like it's really hard to find a wedge that looks cool and fresh and stylish without looking frumpy and kind of outdated. I still have a couple of pair of wedges, specifically espadrille wedges, but to be honest, I haven't reached for them in a very, very long time. The reason why I held onto them is because for events such as outdoor events where you're going to be walking around in grass, but you need something that's a little bit more dressy, they have a time and a place. But even then, I feel like if I know I'm gonna be walking around on a soft surface and I need to be a little bit more dressed up. I would rather put on a, a pretty sandal with a chunkier heel so my heel is not going to be sinking into the ground. I feel like a chunky heel sandal looks a lot more chic and stylish rather than outdated and frumpy. Don't even get me started on the thong flip-flop sandals. I feel like this is such a hot trend right now, but in my opinion, I feel like it doesn't look stylish at all. It just looks like you're wearing a pair of Havianas with a heel on them. I don't understand why this is considered to be stylish right now. Don't get me wrong, I always, always say that you should wear whatever makes you feel and look your absolute best. I just don't personally feel like this is something that I feel comfortable wearing, but I do like the look of a strap that goes in between the toes, as long as it's accompanied by other straps that go, for example, around the top of your foot or around the ankle. Bottega Veneta has ones that are a great example of this that look a lot more stylish and don't look so much like a beach flip-flop. I think that that's my biggest issue with thong sandals. I just feel like they look too much like a beach flip-flop and that is just a big, big turnoff for me. Another style of shoe that I think is very outdated in terms of the way that it looks and it's also not the most flattering style on most people and that is a T-strap shoe, whether it's a flat, or a high-heeled sandal. I just think that it cuts off the leg and that T-strap style has a very outdated vintage vibe about it. Don't get me wrong, I love my vintage. You guys know how much I love clothes and accessories in general. I just think that this particular style of shoe is not the most wearable and not the most flattering. So if you wanted something that had a similar vibe, drop the whole T-strap style altogether and just go for something that wraps around the ankle. You'll still get a very similar look and feel to T-strap shoe without it looking outdated and out of style. Platform shoes are another type of shoe style that I think are totally out of style. I understand that for people who are, let's say, vertically challenged, Platforms are your life. Platforms make you feel more confident. They give you the extra height, but I think that you can achieve the same 
feeling without going for a platform shoe. It's not just that I feel like platform shoes look outdated or out of style. I feel like platform shoes are something that we as a society, unfortunately, have started to kind of relate to a type of profession, shall we say. Now, I never want to impose like an extreme point of view. Obviously, everyone has their own opinions and I always view things on a scale. I never see things as black or white. I'm just speaking from my opinion and from the things that I personally like. And I'm sharing these views with you so you can totally disagree or agree with me. I just feel like the look of a platform shoe cheapens a whole outfit. Again, I just want to iterate. If you love the style of shoe, you do you. There's nothing wrong with it. These are just my personal opinions. So please don't come at me. I just always want to be open and honest with you guys and help you dress in a way that makes you look and feel your best. And for me personally, when I wear a platform shoe, it doesn't make me feel that way. So that's why I'm sharing this information with you. So if you like the height that a platform shoe gives you, but you also agree with me that you think it's an outdated kind of out of style shoe, something that you can try to give you an extra lift in the height department if you are vertical challenge is to look for a shoe that has a built-in wedge in the shoe. I know Isabel Morant do these really, really well. And it's kind of like an invisible platform that lifts you up, gives you an extra couple inches to your height. So you feel taller, you look taller, but you're still wearing something that's stylish, wearable, and makes your outfit look amazing. So the next shoe style is a shoe style that I loved so, so much a few years ago and wore to death and that is the chunky gladiator sandal. I still love gladiator sandals. I feel like they are something that will elevate your summer outfits or vacation outfits if done right. But I don't think that the chunky style is the way to go about it. I feel like it's very overpowering. It's not always the most flattering look. So instead, if you want the gladiator-esque look, go for a gladiator or Greek sandal that is more delicate, that has thinner strings that tie around your foot and your ankle. It's going to look a lot more flattering. It's not going to cut your foot off. Go for a rope style. I've shared my obsession with the rope style sandals this entire summer. And if you follow me over on Instagram, you've probably caught me wearing them many, many times, like literally in almost every single photo, I have a pair of rope sandals on my feet. There are a lot more wearable. They look a lot more flattering on the legs. And I just think that if you are going to go in that direction, this is the way to go. So as a mom to an almost two year old toddler, what? Sneakers are my jam. I literally live in sneakers. I'm always in sneakers because I'm always on the run. I'm always chasing after my baby girl. So I totally understand the convenience and ease of sneakers, especially when they are like a slip on sneaker. I've seen like an explosion of this slip on sneaker trend going on over the last couple of months. And honestly, I think that this is a trend that is going to fade out very, very quickly and is a trend that is going to go out of style if it hasn't already. I think if you are going to go for the convenience of a sneaker and you just don't have the time and the patience to put on a regular lace-up sneaker, go for a sneaker that has a Velcro tabs on it. It's much easier to put on. You kind of get that similar convenience factor of a slide-on sneaker without having it look outdated and out of style. And a bonus, it's not going to slip off of your feet if you're going to be running after your toddler. Another type of slip on shoe that I think is out of style are slip on loafers. I love the look of loafers. I think that they instantly make any outfit look so much more chic and polished and sophisticated, but I just can't wrap my head around the slip on loafer trend. I feel like they look like house slippers that you should be wearing around in the house. And I also don't like the idea of it potentially slipping off of my foot 
while I'm walking in the middle of the street. It's just not an idea that I like. So instead, just go for a traditional classic closed heel loafer. I promise you, you will get so much wear out of them. It's a timeless staple that you will have in your wardrobe forever, especially if you get it in a classic color, like a black or a brown, you will have it forever and you'll be able to wear it with so many things in your wardrobe. And the last shoe style that unfortunately I think is out of style and breaks my heart to say this because I honestly had such a crazy obsession with this shoe style a few years ago, or not even a few years ago, like as recently as last year. And that is pointy toe flats or pointy toe sling back flats. I still love this style, but I just think that something about it looks a little too overdone for me at this time. What I think looks a little bit more stylish and more fresh are pointy toe kitten heels, whether it's a sling back style or a ankle wraparound style or a mule style. I think that it looks a lot more cool, fresh, stylish, it's a lot more wearable. It's a lot more flattering on the legs. So if you're going to go for something that has a pointy toe, try one of these styles and I promise you, you are going to look amazing. All right, guys, so that wraps up today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. And let me know in the comments if you agree or disagree with these shoe styles that I talked about in this video. And if there's a shoe style that you think is totally out of style and you don't see yourself wearing anytime in the near future, let me know what it is in the comments comments below. I just wanted to quickly remind you about my beautiful Ana Luisa jewelry. If you want to take advantage of my discount, everything will be linked in my description box down below. I will also link all of the pieces that I showed you in today's video. And with that, I want to thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me and I will see you in my next one.